Brooke Hapta, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you, Paul. You recently came up with uh, this uh, amazing uh, uh, tracker uh, or tracing app. Uh, bring me up to speed. Well, Tracker is a contact tracing app that's uh, available worldwide on all Androids. And the way I came about it is uh, South Korea was effective with their contact tracing app. And I just asked myself, wouldn't it you know, be wonderful to have something you know, similar, but work worldwide. And given the fact that it's, it's uh, the virus is everywhere at this point, it was only right that I uh, developed such, such a thing. How different is your app from uh, some of these apps that have already hit the market? Well, for one, um, this app is very easy to use. Uh, registration alone takes less than a minute to complete. You only, you only need your name and email and you're already in. And the best thing about my uh, app, which is Tracker, is if that person who traveled from China to the States had Tracker, the Tracker wouldn't just notify everyone uh, in China that that person came in contact with, but it'll also contact everyone they came in contact with in the process, including in the States. That way, uh, people can take their own measures at an early stage. A young man from uh, Eritrea, uh, how did you come about uh, with uh, this uh, uh, amazing uh, application? You know, I looked at what South Korea and their application were able to, to do, and I wanted to ask myself, how can I do that while um, you know, making it available for not just people in South Korea or just people in the States, but also people in every single country, uh, especially countries that are not able, that can't afford to have this virus around, uh, especially a lot of countries in Africa. Uh, are there any countries uh, in Africa that are already using your apps? Uh, or in terms of numbers, how many uh, people have uh, registered or are using your application right now? As far as Africa, we have a lot of users in Africa. Uh, I can tell you the countries and, you know, Nigeria, Ghana, Sudan, Ethiopia, um, South Africa. And a few other countries just in Africa alone. Uh, it's interesting that uh, you don't mention your own country, Eritrea. Well, the, it's, also, it's also available to folks in Eritrea, but the good thing is at the moment, uh, Eritrea is completely negative from the virus. Uh, they had a few cases, I think about 38 or 39, and about a week ago they uh, actually uh, just made it public that everyone that was quarantined came out healthy and they haven't had single fatalities and at this moment I think they remain uh, one of the a few countries without the virus. Brooke, uh, have you tried to reach out to uh, different uh, research uh, institutions, uh, different uh, states or governments uh, that uh, uh, can potentially maybe partner with you and uh, take this up to the next level? Well, I'm actually in the process of uh, doing that uh, and I really welcome that with open arms because like I said, this is something that can benefit the world as a whole. And uh, I think those um, health gov institutions or governments you mentioned could really uh, play a huge role in that. What does it take uh, to have your app? Uh, is it a free app? Is it paid? Uh, and where can people find your app? It's actually completely free. There's no an app subscription uh, or pay for download. It's all free once you download it. Um, it's available on Androids worldwide, but to make it easier, I always recommend that people go to the website, that our website, which is www.letstrackcovid.com. When you say that uh, uh, the app right now is only open to Android users, are you not limiting yourself uh, in terms of uh, reach uh, or scale? Uh, uh, when are you going to open it up to maybe other operating systems uh, like uh, iOS? Well, that's a good question, Paul. Um, iOS or Apple has uh, very strict guidelines to follow for uh, their developers when developing such applications. And we found it to be more challenging in a way. Uh, but we were able to complete the Android version uh, faster than we expected. That's why we were able to release it as opposed to waiting for the iOS version to be completed then to release both together. So right now what we're doing is while looking, getting all the feedbacks and uh, performing our testing on the Android version, we are working on the iOS version as well and we hope to have that out soon. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Brooke. Thank you, Paul.